Welcome back everyone. The Google Pixel 6 and the Google Pixel 6 XL are going to be some of the craziest phones this year in my opinion. So let's kind of sum up everything that's going to be happening with these devices. Now like I mentioned these devices are going to be coming out very soon probably within the next you know month or so probably like two or three months. Now price tag wise we haven't really seen a crazy amount of things coming out for these devices but if I had to be completely honest I'm pretty sure the Google Pixel 6 the standard you know slow, smaller model is probably going to be around you know 799 to 849 maybe even 899 so I think 799 to 899 I've seen a couple rumors here and there but most of the time there's like not that much about the price tag especially considering the Pixel 5 was technically a budget phone on paper now with the Pixel 6 some of the main features from what I've seen is pretty much the fact that this phone is going to be somewhat looking like the Pixel 5 on the front. So whole bunch display which is going to be one of its biggest assets and it's going to try tapping into that more you know premium feeling device landscape which I think is going to be an awesome thing about this device. If it does hit that point of kind of looking more like a flagship kind of competing more with Samsung in terms of their S series that is going to be something that's going to be super worthwhile. Now with the Pixel 6 on the front we're probably going to be getting like I mentioned a bigger display on some of the models because we are getting that bigger screen so that's a huge thing to keep in mind and we will probably end up getting an AMOLED display on these devices where the Pixel 6 Pro or the bigger version is probably going to have a POLED device so it's going to be roughly around the same thing but POLED is something you know it's a plastic OLED display so it's something to kind of keep in mind hopefully they just take Samsung's panels and put them on this device to be completely honest. Now both are going to have USB-C no micro SD card slot and nothing like that which I'm not super crazed about but it is what it is but the back is said to be one of the bigger differences you know we're going to be having this somewhat matte texture on the back from what I've heard it's very similar to what we had on the Google Pixel 4 so that'd be really cool the camera setups on the back as you can see from some of these renders they are super crazy I'm so happy the way these renders look out and if the Pixel 6 and 6 Pro look anything like this and that is going to be insane in my opinion so on the Google Pixel 6 you're technically going to have a triple camera setup so a 50 megapixel main camera, a 12 megapixel ultra wide sensor, then an 8 megapixel front camera, so only a dual camera setup on the back, but an 8 megapixel camera on the front. I don't know why phonearena.com sentenced this article like this, it's so funny. Now with the Pixel 6 Pro and XL, you're going to have a triple camera setup on the back fully. So main camera is 50 megapixels, telephoto lens is 48 megapixels, the ultra wide camera is going to be 12 megapixels, and then a front camera which is going to be 12 megapixels. So what I've seen and from what I've kind of, you know, encompassing with these is that the Pixel 6 and 6 Pro are both going to be able to do 4K60 on the back, but possibly the Pixel 6 XL is going to be able to do 8K on the back and on the front only 1080p at 60 on the Pixel 6, very similar to the Pixel 5, where the XL is going to be able to do 4K at 60 on the front. So that's kind of my main consensus of what Google is going to do with these specific devices. Like I mentioned, it's probably not going to be 100% like this. But like I mentioned, the biggest takeaway with the Pixel lineup right now is that Google is going to try to somewhat be more of a competitor to Samsung than before. Even before, they were more competing with the Galaxy S20 FE of last year than the actual you know, Galaxy S20. So hopefully Google changes it up this year and I hope they end up doing this for sure. So that pretty much covers it up. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.